Fallout 4 is always better with mods, but not all mods are available on console, which is where most people play their games. The issue with console mods is Bethesda's community guidelines for mods. You have to be 18 plus to even buy the game, but you can't port 18 plus mods over to consoles. Some PG mods even get removed from the site. But the biggest issue with Xbox mods is the trending tab is full of horrible mods that shouldn't exist, and searching mods only shows mods that have nothing to do with what you searched, making finding mods you want very difficult. But with Bethesda's habit to not make any sense whatsoever out of the way, I have found 10 mods on console that are absolutely amazing. All of these are available on Xbox, and some of them might be available on PlayStation. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into 10 mods in Fallout 4 that you can get on console. Now for the first mod on this list, I don't actually know what to call it. It's titled the Cross 2077 mod, I guess. But this just adds the samurai jacket from Cyberpunk into Fallout 4. So you can finally get that charisma and impressive c**k. This mod also comes with a few other apparel like gloves and masks, but we don't care about any of that. The samurai jacket is the seller. You craft it at the chemistry station, and by default, it's just Johnny Silverhand's jacket from Cyberpunk, which is very fitting to use with the Malorian Arms mod that we covered in the last video. This jacket is actually extremely customizable. You can change the color of the jacket, you can change the color of the glow, you can even change the decal on the back to other logos from Cyberpunk, as well as various different factions from the Fallout franchise. And that's not to mention all the other customization options for the other clothing items. This is not really a useful mod, but for my fellow cyberpunk fans, this mod is really cool, especially when you're using the Malorian Arms mod, and have Hanako Arasaka tell you that another settlement needs your help. Now let's change things up a bit. It's time to get a little spooky. The Horror Ghouls sound pack is an audio overhaul for feral ghouls. Ghouls no longer sound like Minecraft zombies but rather they sound like screeching demons from the deepest pits of the underworld. This mod turns feral ghouls from a minor nuisance into creatures that are actually kinda terrifying, especially in dark dungeons and at night. That's really all there is to it, so I'll go ahead and play some footage so you can listen and hear for yourself. may have a problem here. I've seen a few different mods that change the Idiot Savant sound, but this is by far the best one. Idiot Savant is a luck perk that grants you triple XP at random, though lower your intelligence, the higher chance for it to happen. The original sound isn't bad or anything, but after a while it does get to be really annoying. This mod is known as the Anime Wow mod. I guess. People who port these mods over don't really do a good job at naming them, so they end up being difficult to find. But this mod changes the idiot savant alert sound from the idiotic laughter to the wow sound effect from fairy tale. Also the sound effect that I frequently use in my YouTube shorts. A lot of audio mods on console are either too loud or too quiet to the point that they're unusable, but this mod's audio is perfectly balanced as all things should be. This isn't a big mod, but if you ask me, it's more of a quality of life mod, just making the idiot savant sound much more pleasant. But if you're a fan of fairy tale, then I have another fairy tale related mod, and that's the Ladies of Fairy Tale Paintings mod. This mod adds about a dozen new paintings into the settlement workshop. We have paintings of the fairy tale ladies altogether, as well as individual paintings of Urza Scarlet, paintings of Juvia, and paintings of Lucy as well. These paintings are really big, and I like to paste them all over my settlements. I totally don't have a problem. In my settlements, it's illegal to own a house without pictures of Urza Scarlet. You have an empty wall? Boom, Urza Scarlet. You have an ugly hole that needs covering? Boom, Urza Scarlet. You just trying to sleep? Boom, Urza freaking Scarlet. That is literally the entire mod. They also have another mod for happy as well if you want pictures of an annoying blue cat. Now in my last mod video, I covered the companion waifu mods by Diego Accord, where your male companions are replaced by waifus. And I briefly mentioned the one where the dog turns into a human woman that does normal human companion things, but follows you around and barks like a dog. But this mod is going to be coupled with another mod called the Fox Tails and Ears mod. This way you can turn your beautiful new human dog waifu into a fox. Literally. 
You can craft these at the chemistry station like everything else, and you can choose between a variety of different colors. You can put this on your dog meat girlfriend so she seems less like a human and more like a dog that has transformed into a human. It's about the immersion, I swear. Let's move on to another companion related mod. In fact, this one is a straight up new companion. This is the 06 synth companion mod, Mature Voice Edition. Now make sure you download the Mature Voice version, otherwise she will have, and I quote, a transvestite voice, according to the mod maker. Or do get the other version, I'm not trying to yuck your yum. You do you. But this mod is exactly what it sounds like. It's a new voiced companion, and the voice is not AI. This mod actually kind of fits in the lore in its own way. Zero Six here is a fourth generation synth from the Institute, and I'll just let her introduce herself. I'm O6. I'm a fourth generation synth from the Institute. They want my line to help out the people outside. I'm made for cooking, helping, and medicine. I like it that way. I was hardwired to like the Institute, and I like being a goody goody little tool. I know I'm an object, and I don't mind it. She's literally the perfect wife. Now the planet-sized elephant in the room is that the voice acting isn't very good, especially on the voice of the female soul survivor. But I do think the voice acting does make Zero Six sound like an innocent, ignorant, and naive android. She also really likes pancakes for some reason. Excuse me. Hello. I'm new here. I like pancakes. Do you? Zero Six even has some stored in her inventory, which will heal 100 HP and cure all addictions. Plus, she can make pancakes for you anytime you want. You can talk to her to access her upgrades, assuming you have the right materials. You can upgrade her hardware, her weapons, and her armor. You can also alter her physical appearance to be literally anything you desire. So like I said, she is the perfect wife. Alright you dirty little weebs. Wait, is it weeby if it's not Japanese? Doesn't matter. This is the K-Girls outfit mod. There are a plethora of outfits to choose from, and they are all inspired from real K-pop girl groups. Like, twice? I don't actually listen to K-pop, but each craftable outfit comes with the girl group it is from, along with where the outfit appeared, music video, live performance. You even get a few schoolgirl outfits to choose from as well. These are just some nice casual everyday clothes. It's about the immersion, but there are a lot to choose from so feel free to take a look at them all. You might find one that you really like. Now let's move on to a mod that I think is actually very cool, and that is the No Case Unsolved mod, which adds 13 new detective cases to Nick Valentine's agency. Now at first I thought this was going to add 13 side quests similar to the Gilded Grasshopper based on that description, and I was a little disappointed to find out that it wasn't so. But that doesn't mean the mod was a total letdown. These new cases are just basic notes that describe the locations of hidden gems, easter eggs, and bring attention to other stuff in the lore and Fallout history. And the best part is that they're all written from the perspective of Nick Valentine, so it becomes an immersive mod that helps inform the player of hidden secrets within the game. I'm not going to cover all of them, I'll leave that up to you, but some of them are pretty interesting, such as a cabin near Walden Pond that is full of cats. Another case file mentions the Brotherhood of Steel growing an experimental plant on their airship, which if you make your way down to the R&D lab, you will find Ninroot from Skyrim which is obviously just an easter egg. Another case mentions a railroad spy that is watching people by blending in within the crowd but isn't very good at it, which is a reference to how Deacon has been watching you since the start of the game and even waiting for you outside of the vault. But just about everyone knows he's been watching you, so clearly he's not very good at blending in. There is a case file called the Broken Mask Incident, which mentions seeing a suspicious new player in Diamond City that might be important to know about in the future, which sort of acts as a precursor to Piper's article called The Synthetic Truth, which basically summarizes how someone named Mr. Carter came into town and murdered a bunch of people until he was killed by security. But during the autopsy, they found out that he was actually synthetic. Mr. Carter was the first synthetic infiltrator in the Commonwealth, which is basically what started the Institute Paranoia. There is one case file of the Mysterious Stranger, which if you know anything about the Mysterious Stranger, you'd know that Nick Valentine has been looking for him for a long time and is the only other character within the Fallout universe that can actually see him. There is even a hidden case file called Todd Howard, which basically just makes fun of Todd Howard's entire existence. This case file is probably my favorite. This mod is really cool and I highly recommend downloading it if you're interested in finding some hidden secrets. It just works.
Now, if you're going to explore the wasteland looking for hidden gems, then you need a weapon or a really strong companion with a sexy AI partner. That's right, you can get Master Chief and Cortana as a companion in Fallout 4 with the Master Chief and Cortana companion mod. This mod actually comes with its very own side quests, which lead you to a secret base where you can meet them. Both Master Chief and Cortana are fully voice acted by splicing voice lines from a variety of different Halo games, and the Soul Survivor is also voiced the same exact way. Alert! In my sights. Feeling lucky? Just relax, tech head. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. I think you will find that I don't like being tested. You ready to head out? Let's finish this fight. This mod can be a little buggy, so make sure it's higher up in the load order. But you'll also get an aid item up, 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 up. What was that stutter? Oh my god. But you'll also get an aid item upon recruiting Master Chief, which allows you to change Master Chief's armor to a variety of different armors from each of the Halo games. You can also get a manual, which teaches you how to use the aid item. And you can change his behavior, like have his AI behave like a normal companion, or behave like dog meat. You can also summon him to your location if he is not actively following you. The best part is that he doesn't take up a follower spot, so you can have your dog wife and Master Chief follow you you at the same time. A pretty cool mod for Halo fans, especially if you're planning on using the Halo armor mod that I showcased in the last video. For the final mod on this list, I wanted to include a quality of life mod called True Eyes. This mod is essentially just a retexture of the character's eyes. In fact, the mod creator used photographs of real human eyes in order to create these retextures. So you're telling me this whole time our favorite waifus had ugly eyes? Real eyes? Real eyes? Realize. This retexture just makes every character look slightly more attractive. Just when you thought Piper couldn't get any more sexy, BAM! Pretty eyes. This mod also really brings out Kate's Irish green eyes, which makes her look even more like Siri. This mod also applies to your eyes, which will make your already extremely hot character even more hot. The mod author also removed this mod from Nexus mod so it is an Xbox exclusive. Xbox wins again! There you have it, that was 10 more console mods for Fallout 4. If you want to see more Fallout 4 or other RPG related content, then feel free to subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you later, and remember, the media lies.